If I don't see a bin in my vicinity, I make sure that I take all of my litter with me. I keep it close at hand until a bin is in view. Specifically put that I put our litter into. Hi, young champions, heroes of Australia and the world. Rock on! Captain Cleanup here. Now we all want to live in the best, healthiest and cleanest Australian environment we can, both in our home and in our community. Everyone, including you, can help make Australia litter free by keeping their town tidy. You can help make your town a tidy town. Tidy towns, tidy towns, keep your town tidy. A town that's tidy is a tidy town, so keep your town tidy. Now sometimes we think keeping Australia beautiful is something we only do outside our homes and in the general community. But have you ever thought that your house is part of the community? So keeping your community tidy starts at home, both inside and outside. Things like old drums, refrigerators, washing machines and car bodies on your property can collect water and encourage pests like mosquitoes, rats, mice, cockroaches and flies to breed. By removing unwanted items, yards will look better and pests won't have places to breed. Not to mention, the less rubbish there is lying around your property, the less fuel there is for a fire to start and spread. And in cyclone prone areas, having clean yards is even more important because loose rubbish and material can get blown around and cause damage to buildings and injuries to people. So tidy up your front yard, tidy up your verge, keep your town tidy. A town that's tidy is a tidy town So keep your town, keep your town Keep your town tidy And keeping the inside of your house clean and tidy is just as important as keeping your yard tidy and free from pests. If you tidy up your bedrooms and do odd jobs around the house like emptying the bins, taking out the recycling, washing and drying the dishes or loading or unloading the dishwasher You'll impress your parents and make them proud. And when you have proud and happy parents, that means you're more likely to get what you want. It's called bargaining power. <laughs> so it's really important to work together. If you're not sure how to help, ask your parents to show you what you can do both inside and outside your home to help maintain a clean, healthy and happy family environment. You know, your parents work really hard looking after you by providing a place to live, clothes to wear, games to play and good food to eat. It's only fair in return to share the family workload. When everyone pitches in, things get done quicker, which leaves more time to play and have fun, fewer arguments and more laughter. Woohoo! So tidy up your bedrooms, tidy up your house, keep your house tidy. A house that's tidy is a tidy house. So keep your house, keep your town, keep your town tidy. And the sea. Now I'll admit that once I was a literate too. In years gone by when clearly I did not have a clue. Now I know that what we throw on waking and sleep is slowly killing every living thing in the sea. It's slowly killing every living thing in the sea. In Australia, we love having a swim in our local waterways, our rivers, our oceans. But did you know that almost every time we do, we're swimming amongst the thousands and thousands of pieces of rubbish that have been washed up or blown in from people not disposing of their unwanted items properly. Plastic items make up about 75% of all the floating rubbish in our waterways and have a devastating effect on our wildlife. You see, ocean currents circulate plastics around the world forming huge whirlpools of rubbish. Planet Ark estimates that there are more than 10,000 pieces of rubbish floating in every one square kilometre of the world's waterways. That means millions of birds and marine animals get entangled in or digest our rubbish, leading to injury and death. For example, plastic bags floating in the water look like jellyfish to our marine animals, like this turtle here. This albatross thought he was eating some food, but as you can see, his stomach is full of plastic. There's a plastic bottle top, even a cigarette lighter. It's tragic. Plastics provide no nutrition, 
clog up the animal's stomach and are very hard to poop out. In 2011, a similar bird was found to have more than 275 pieces of plastic in its stomach. 275, unbelievable. That's equivalent to an average human swallowing 10 kilograms of plastic. That's disgusting. We wouldn't survive either. Plastic also attracts and collects heavy chemicals and toxins floating in the surrounding water. So not only are plastics non-nutritional for the animals and birds, they're poisonous to them as well. A deadly double whammy. And plastics don't just decompose like our food and green waste. They break down into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller pieces, right down to the microscopic level. We call them microplastics, also known as microbeads. Now scientists fear that these microplastics are being absorbed by the animals at the bottom of the food chain, like our plankton and krill, and passing them up through the food chain to our top predators, like us. So some portion of the seafood that we eat today could contain some plastic that we've thrown carelessly away into the environment in the past. Food for thought. And some companies have added these microplastics, or crystals as they call them, to some of their products like toothpaste and face scrub as an abrasive to help clean your teeth and your face. These microcrystals pass through the filters in our wastewater treatment plants and out into the rivers and our oceans. It's good that many companies are recognising this and taking microplastics out of their products. So, what can you do? Reduce, reuse and recycle. It's all too easy. Looking after every living thing in the sea. Looking after every living thing in the sea. So you can bin and recycle your plastics every day and encourage your mates to do the same. And when you go shopping, use a reusable bag instead of plastic bags and avoid plastic packaging by buying your fruit and veggies loose or in bulk. Suggest to your parents that they avoid buying healthcare products that contain microcrystals. And use a stainless steel water bottle instead of buying water in a plastic bottle. You can wrap your sandwiches in wax paper instead of plastic wrap, or even use a reusable sandwich keeper. Cool, eh? You can join in a cleanup of your local waterways and beaches and enjoy a barbie afterwards with your family and friends as a reward. And when you go on fishing trips, take all your used fishing line and bait bags and rubbish back to shore and bin it. Too easy. Go onto the Keep Australia Beautiful WA website and click on the Clean Marine tab for more helpful hints. You know, when you bin your rubbish and recycle, you save the lives of animals and birds, and that makes you a young legend, a hero of Australia. Don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution. Binners are winners. Rock on! You could save your mama, you could save your friends, you could save a brother or a sister, you could save your dog or a kangaroo, or a band of coot, or me or you. Now we know that rubbish lying around our town spoils our environment and makes it unhealthy for us to live in. It can stop us enjoying ourselves with our family and friends. I was at the park the other day and I saw a young boy holding his hand with blood running down it. Turns out it had fallen out of a tree and onto a piece of broken glass bottle hidden in the grass. Ouch. An operation, several stitches and a few hundred dollars later, the boy was okay. But had the glass bottle been recycled or binned in the first place, the boy wouldn't have had to go on through such a horrible experience. I bet you or someone you know has been through a similar experience. It takes millions of years for broken glass to break down and stay sharp for many years. That could cause a lot of unnecessary accidents. Now if your town or suburb has lots of glass lying around, you can form a captain cleanup squad and remove it. The Keep Australia Beautiful Council or your tiny towns committee can supply you with gloves and bags to get you started. Not only will you make the place cleaner, but safer too. You could save someone you know, a native animal, or a pet from serious injury. 
and in my eyes, that makes you a hero of Australia. When you think about it, recycling and binning your rubbish is so easy. We know it's the right thing to do, so find the right bin and bin it. Too easy. Do, 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 binners are winners and litter bugs are losers. Do, 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 binners are winners. Cigarette butts, <clears throat> one of my pet hates. Now we all know cigarette smoking is bad for your health and increases the risk of lung cancer and heart disease. But did you know that cigarette butts are also bad for the environment if not disposed of properly? You see, the cigarette butts are made up of fine plastic fibres designed to filter the 4,000 chemicals created when a cigarette is lit from entering the smoker's lungs. And when a butt finds its way into any water body, like a lake, river or ocean, these chemicals leach out. Very young children, animals and marine life think the butts of food and they eat them, causing poisoning and sickness. Ugh. Not to mention, a lit cigarette butt can also cause a devastating fire with tragic consequences. And like all plastics, the cigarette butts don't decompose but break down slowly into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, which stay in our environment forever. Millions and billions of cigarette butts are carelessly discarded each year. And even though smoking is now banned in workplaces, cafes and on beaches, smokers still continue to use the streets and our beautiful beaches as their own personal ashtrays. It's disgusting and it's wrong. Out of all the thrown away items in the world, the cigarette butt is the most littered. Now, if anyone in your family smokes, remind them not to smoke around you and to use an ashtray or butt it out and bin it. A great idea is to give them a Keep Australia Beautiful Pocket Ashtray. These make it easy for the smoker to dispose of their butt correctly when there's no ashtrays or bins around. And remind them that they could save themselves $200 by not throwing their butt out the window. Their cigarette butt, not their bottom butt out the window. That could be dangerous. Butt it out and bin it. Mm. But it out and bin it, too easy. Do, 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 binners are winners. Now being Captain Cleanup, I see so many things that could be prevented easily. Your car, household and phone batteries are made up of heavy metals and other toxic elements like mercury, lead and acid. Unfortunately, Batteries that are discarded in the bush or landfill leak into our environment, causing a serious health risk to humans and animals. And in the right conditions, batteries can produce a spark and cause a fire. Recycling batteries keeps heavy metals out of landfill and the air. Recycling saves resources, as recovered plastics and metals can be used to make new batteries. Did you know, 98% of car batteries can be recycled. So encourage your parents to store your used household batteries for recycling in non-metal containers. And keep your AA, your AAA, button and phone batteries separate from your nine volt batteries. And put a bit of insulation tape around the positive and negative terminals. This stops sparks and fires being started in the home and at the rubbish tip. And remember, take your batteries out of your toys when you dispose of them too. Your local council will usually be able to recycle your used car and household batteries, so just drop them off to their waste transfer or recycling stations in your area. Too easy. Just think of all the costs to clean up man's made mess. And if we all lived half as dirty, we'd be able to spend the rest on building up our community, building up Responsibility building up sustainability in our community. Oh, it's our community. Oh, it's our community. Oh, it's our community. I'll be back right after this message from our sponsor, Keep Australia Beautiful WA. Dude, do you reckon you get that rubbish in the bin over there? What, that one there? Yeah. Too easy. Oh! 
No way! <laughs> oh, oh, yes! yes! Walking the few extra meters to the bin. Too easy. Bin it. You know it's the right thing to do. That ad was pretty cool, eh? Too easy. We all have a vital part to play in creating the best, healthiest, cleanest Australian environments we can to live in and share with our animals, family and friends. So remember, binners are winners, litterers are losers, but losers can become winners if they become binners. For binners are grinners like us. So keep being a binner and a winner and rock on you champions and tidy towns young legends. A town that's tidy is a tidy town. So keep your town, keep your town, keep your town tidy. Keep your town, keep your town, keep your town nice and tidy. Tidy town.